Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. Here we're going to learn how to uh, use the graphing modes of the calculator, but specifically we're going to talk about tying the graphing mode to creating a table of values for your uh, particular function. And uh, what I mean by that is, you know, when you graph a function by hand, what you usually end up doing is creating a table of x values and then a cr a creating a table of y values, or f of x where you take each value of x that you write down in your table and you put it through the function or the equation and you get the corresponding y value and then you plot all of those points and connect the dots and get a graph. That's what we learn when we ba learn basic graphs. Uh, well the calculator can actually generate tables like that for you to, to do a lot of that work and make it a little bit easier. So uh, what we're going to do is explore that. The first thing we need to do is go into y equals. Uh, if you want to have a function uh, and create a table, you have to tell the calculator what functions you want to use. So we, we put them in the same place that we put them when we're graphing functions. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll do x squared for our first function. And because that's really easy and most people will be able to visualize that. For the second one, let's do something a little bit more complicated. We'll do um, x squared plus the sine of uh, x, let's say something a little bit longer, x squared plus the sine of x. And don't forget we're in radian mode, so whatever number you put into here is going to be in radians, and then we'll add the result to x squared. So we have these two functions, and we can plot them. Let's go ahead and graph them and just see what the graphs look like. In the standard zoom mode, plus 10, minus 10, plus 10, minus 10. Here's our regular old parabola we've been using uh, many times before. And here is the other function. It kind of looks sort of like a parabola, but it shifted a little bit and it looks a little bit weird. And the reason is because we have that sine term that we're adding to it. So it's not quite a parabola, but it resembles it in, in, in general shape. Uh, okay, so what we want to do in the end is get the calculator to generate a table of x, y values so that if we were to get some graph paper out, we could plot those values and reproduce both of these curves, both of these graphs. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. What you need to do is go into table set. That's the first thing we're going to do. So let's go and hit green, go up into table set, and this is called table setup. This lets us set up the sort of the boundaries of our table uh, to tell the calculator sort of what to do. So in the beginning here, I want you to leave this guy here, graph uh, with this double arrow to table, leave it off. I'll show you what happens when you turn it on here in a second, but right now leave it off and leave this independent to auto and I could explain what both of these things mean right now but it's really just easier if we just kind of go through one of these things and then I'll come back and show you what this really means so leave these in their default location